we don't realize it, but almost everything that we use today is based on quantum quantum technology on the practical uses of quantum mechanics. For example, transistors and microchips and microconductors, they are all based on quantum mechanical effects. Microprocessors, USB drives, solid state drives, the sensors that you have in smartphone cameras and DSLR cameras, all of these are based on quantum mechanical effects, which means that Computers won't work without quantum mechanics and smartphones won't work without the without quantum mechanics and quantum technologies, which essentially, essentially tells us that the entire computer and smartphone industry is dependent on technologies that are based in quantum mechanical effects. Then you have lasers and LEDs and fiber optics. So fiber optics are basically classical uh, these are classical objects. These are long fibers through which laser pulses are passed. And that is, again, all about quantum mechanics. So these are governed by the laws of quantum mechanics. So the entire telecommunications industry base is based upon quantum mechanics. We would not be having this conversation right now, this telecast right now, if uh, fiber optic technology did not, uh, did, did not exist. And that is based on quantum mechanics. So this, what we are doing right now, would be impossible if we had not discovered quantum mechanics and if we had not learned how to use that in technology, right? So making phone calls is because of quantum mechanics. Scanning groceries in a supermarket, you have these laser scanners, that's again quantum mechanics. Then you have uh, GPS. Uh, so GPS, when your phone picks up a GPS signal and tells you where, where you are, how does it happen? You have all these, you have this constellation of satellites in space these GPS satellites, these satellites, they're basically transmitting a very accurate uh, uh, transmission of the time. They have these atomic clocks on them, each of these satellites. These atomic clocks are very accurate uh, counters of time. It is based on the transition between quantum states of either cesium or rubidium atoms. So your phone basically gets a signal of the time, what time it is from a number of different satellites, GPS satellites, and it does some mathematical calculations, how much time it took for this signal to come from which satellite. And based on that, it's able to triangulate your location on the planet. So it's all possible because of the quantum transitions between rubidium and cesium atoms that these atomic clocks measure and then transmit via the satellite. So that's again, quantum technology. Then you have electron microscopes, you have magnetic resonance imaging or NMR imaging, nuclear magnetic resonance, which is based on quantum spin. You have PET scans, position emission tomography, which is again a quantum effect. So I could go on and on, but as you can see, all of these technologies, this entire vast bouquet of technologies that we take for granted today, they are all based upon quantum mechanical effects. If we had not discovered quantum mechanics, if we had not developed the technologies based upon this theory, then none of this would have been possible. So that's what I meant by saying that almost all the technology we use today is based upon quantum mechanics.